Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Hawk here. Today we are going to be going over the Ambassador, which is a Corpus Assault Rifle. Here are the base stats for the Ambassador. For the Automatic Mode, which is basically the Assault Rifle. And then it can switch and do like an explosive sniper shot. Which, here are the stats for that. Now... To get the Ambassador, you have to do certain survival missions within the Railjack. Now, the drop chances for this weapon are relatively high compared to other weapons. Like, the main blueprint is 16.67%, while the barrel is 8%, along with the rest of the parts. Now. Where can you find these parts exactly within these Railjack missions? Like I said, survival missions, but... To get the barrel, you have to do... Luckless Expanse. To get the stock, you have to do... Enkaida Ice Drifts. For the receiver, Fenton's Field. And for the main blueprint... Luyan. It's on rotation C of all the survival missions, which is a chance every 20 minutes. So the farm for this is really kind of a pain. Now for the build that we are using, we have the three galvanized mods. And we're running a crit and status build. Crit delay for crit. Battle Sense for crit damage, Hammer Shot for crit damage and stat chance, Malignant Force, and Rhyme Rounds for the viral and stat chance, Covenized nice Chamber for multi shot and even more multi shot on kill, Aptitude for stat chance and damage per stat type. Then here's one that you haven't actually shown off on the channel yet Galvanized Scope, which gives crit chance on headshot. And then even more crit chance on a headshot kill, stacking up to five times. It's also something new with the arcane primary deadhead. If you don't know what that does, at max rank, whenever you get a headshot kill, 120% damage stacking up to three times with a 30% headshot multiplier and minus 50% weapon recoil, which is very helpful. Now, let's go show it off. strides in the field of gene repair. His work would not only reverse centuries of deterioration due to excessive cloning, but also allow for stronger and deadlier genetic molds. Eliminate Regor and put a stop to his work. As you can tell from the first kill, it obviously takes a while to actually do damage and gain the stacks, but once you do, you'd really start killing some enemies. Now, we'll also show off the secondary fire, but it takes a bit to charge up, but once it does, well, damage still isn't that great. <laughs> Never mind. But as you can tell there, the weapon is decent against high level enemies, but do I think the weapons farm is worth it? As of right now, no. The weapon, like I said, is decent against high level enemies, but for the farm, you're better off just farming some prime parts and prime sets and selling those to get the platinum to just buy it from the market. But, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. 